This is Travel Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, we present you with another incredible country. Today, we're looking at 15 Things You Didn't Know About Peru. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hey there, Aluxers, and welcome back to another one of our exclusive destination videos. Today, we're headed for exotic South America to the marvelous wonder that is Peru. Covering an area of 496,225 square miles and with a population of over 32 million people, Peru is one of South America's most densely populated countries home to many Andean societies in the same time, dating from 9000 BC. One of Peru's most famous legacies is the remnants of the Nazca and Inca eras. The country was ruled by Spain from the 16th century. Peru finally went on to gain its independence from Spain in 1879. Today, the country consists of a multi-ethnic population. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. But with all that said, let's just take a look at this diverse country, shall we? Its rich history and its culture with the 15 things you didn't know about Peru. Number 1. Peru is one of the most biodiverse countries on the planet. Because Peru is divided into three distinct geographic zones, it has a plethora of fauna and flora that flourish in each one of them. Part of Peru is dominated by the Andes mountain range, which runs down the length of the country parallel to the Pacific Ocean on the west. The biggest geographic zone in Peru is the jungle. Up to 60% of Peru's landmass forms part of the Amazon rainforest. It begins on the eastern side of the Andes and stretches towards the country's eastern borders with Brazil and Bolivia. The mountain tops of the Andes are called the Sierra. To the west of the Andes lies the coastal region or Costa. This narrow area is predominantly desert-like. Number 2. Peruvians are proud of the remnants of the Inca culture that exists to this day. The Incas emerged as a powerful nation in the 15th century. They'd started off as a small group of Quechuas. After several conquests, they slowly expanded their territory. In the mid-15th century, their power reached its pinnacle with massive land gains after conflict with neighboring groups. Their center of power was the Andean area, and their capital was Cusco. The Incas worshipped the sun god Inti. Many millions of people lived under Incan rule. A society of law and order was created. Many buildings were constructed, the remains of which can still be seen today. Number 3. The Spanish Conquest of South America Would Forever Alter the Region in the 1500s, the Spanish galleons began to arrive in South America as the Spaniards sought land and resources. The Inca were eventually defeated in December 1532. The Spanish took control and colonized the area and renamed it the Viceroyalty of Peru. This capital was Lima, which remains Peru's capital to this day. The ethnic population of the region sadly died in great numbers as a result of the fighting, forced labor, and diseases that arrived with the Spanish conquistadors. With the discovery of gold and silver, the Spanish set up mines. When there weren't enough indigenous inhabitants to work the mines, they brought in slaves from Africa. The inhabitants of Peru were converted to Catholicism at the behest of the King of Spain, thereby destroying the beliefs and culture of the Inca. Number 4. Tourism is an important part of the Peruvian economy. Gaining independence from Spain, the country of Peru faced declining silver and gold mining production. There would be several years of infighting among the former Spanish colonies over the territory. Only by the early 1900s was there some stability in the country and the chance to rebuild it. Today, Peru is one of the world's fastest growing economies. Its income is dominated by the services industry, which includes hospitality and tourism. Tourists are attracted to the archaeological remains of the Incas and other civilizations that inhabited the area. Number 5. One of Peru's most expensive hotels will cost the visitor about $350 a night. 
The Tambo del Inca is one of Peru's most luxurious hotels. It's situated in the Sacred Valley. The Sacred Valley is located in the Andes Mountains and lies about 12 miles north of the ancient Incan capital of Cusco. The hotel offers its guests quick access to some of Peru's most iconic tourist attractions. The Tambo del Inca has large picture windows, allowing the visitor panoramic views of the dramatic landscape. While the Sacred Valley has many accommodation options, this hotel features the area's biggest spa, which is perfect for those guests seeking a bit of pampering while soaking up the local culture. Number 6. A 1987 airplane crash wiped out an entire football team and support staff. On December 8, 1987, a plane carrying the players, manager, coaches, staff, and fans of the Alianza Lima team died after their chartered plane crashed into the Pacific Ocean. Of the 38 passengers and six crew, only the pilot survived. A malfunctioning indicator for the landing gear left the pilot uncertain as to whether it was safe to land. The pilot did a flyby, and the control tower confirmed all was well and instructed the pilot to land the plane. However, as the pilot prepared to approach the runway for the landing, the plane crashed into the ocean. Only in 2006 would the public find out the crash was caused by faulty mechanics and pilot error. Number 7. A new airport may destroy yet unexplored archaeological treasures. While plans to build an airport close to the Sacred Valley are going ahead, many are protesting its presence. Should the airport project be completed, up to 6 million tourists would be able to land at Peru's most popular tourist destination. Opponents of the development cite the fact that the location might potentially hold more archaeological finds that provide insight to the history of the area and could themselves become future tourist attractions. The area Chinchero has not yet been fully explored. However, it does contain imperial buildings and other structures. Experts are pleading with the Peruvian government to weigh the need for development against the need to preserve and study the past. Number 8. Peru will not be pardoning a past ruler convicted of corruption. Former President Alberto Fujimori's reign of power lasted from 1990 to 2000. His rule was dominated by allegations of corruption and human rights violations. In 2000, Fujimori was impeached in absentia. He was arrested in Chile in 2005 and sent to Peru. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison for several crimes, which included murder. Back in 2009, his family applied for a presidential pardon based on Fujimori's ill health. President Ollanta Humala refused. Then, in December 2017, President Pedro Pablo Kuczynski issued a pardon on advice from a medical board. Widespread protests led to the pardon being reversed in October 2018. Fujimori had to return to prison. He resisted, citing his ill health, until a court ordered him to return in January of 2019. Number 9. Football is an important part of Peruvian life. Football is by far Peru's most popular sport. There are several big clubs and league games, and finals are well attended. The national team is qualified for and played in the FIFA World Cup five times. Their last appearance was at the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. In addition to that, Peru has won the Copa America trophy twice. And another sport, Taekwondo, is gaining popularity in Peru as well. The country is also active in the world of women's volleyball, and as you would imagine, surfing is popular along the Peruvian coast. Number 10. Peru is home to one of the world's most unique hotels. Adventurers waiting to immerse themselves in the glory of the Sacred Valley should consider staying at the Sky Lodge Adventure Suites. These are glass pods that have been placed on a cliff that overlooks the Sacred Valley. Inaccessible by road, guests have to climb 1,300 feet up the cliff face to reach their accommodations. Then, guests can zip line down to the base of the cliff when they're ready to emerge from their glass chrysalis. Each pod contains four beds, a dining section, and a private bathroom that's not made of sheer glass. 
no other pod experience comes close, according to those who've experienced it. And Alexers, interestingly enough, there are several pod and capsule hotels, with the idea having originated in Tokyo, Japan. We've covered this in detail in our 15 Things You Didn't Know About Tokyo video, which you can check out by clicking in the top right corner. Number 11. About 75% of the world's alpacas live in Peru. The alpaca is a South American camelid. It should not be confused with the llama. Alpacas are smaller than llamas. Alpacas are also kept and farmed on the even plains of the Andes Mountains. Farmers breed and keep them for their alpaca fibers. It is similar to sheep's wool and used to manufacture a variety of textiles. Worldwide, the demand for textiles made from alpaca fiber is increasing. There are 52 natural shades of alpaca fiber in Peru. Alpacas are closely related to both llamas and the vicuña. This animal is believed to be the wild ancestor of the domesticated alpaca and is Peru's national animal. Number 12. Peru's Desert Area is home to some interesting tourist attractions. The Nazca Lines are best viewed from the air. They are sets of geoglyphs that make more than 70 animal and human formations. More than 10,000 lines were used to create the geoglyphs. Some of these lines are 30 miles long, but why they are there remains a mystery. Some people believe they are evidence of aliens landing on Earth, while others think they are astral charts the Nazca people used. And in the Sakura Desert, the world's highest sand dune awaits any visitor. Cerro Blanco is 3,860 feet tall and popular among sand borders. Number 13. Peru has a new president. By July 2018, Pedro Pablo Krasinski resigned suddenly amid allegations of corruption. He handed in his resignation in anticipation of the commencement of impeachment proceedings. The first vice president, Martin Vizcarra, was sworn in as the new president. He's expected to serve until the end of Krasinski's term, which ends in 2021. However, there have been calls for fresh elections before that. Vizcarro has promised to continue corruption investigations and eliminate such illegal practices from the government. He's apparently being supported by those who remain loyal to the former president, Alberto Fujimori. Number 14. Peru is home to one of the new Seven Wonders of the World. In 2007, the new Seven Wonders of the World were announced. Among them is Machu Picchu, an archaeological gem rediscovered in 1911 by Hiram Bingham. The site sits on a mountain ridge in the Sacred Valley. Accessing the site requires hiking, a train guide, and a bus commute. This allows the visitors to appreciate the amount of effort put into building this settlement so high up in the mountains by hand. The panoramic views and rich cultural experience make visiting the Inca settlement of Machu Picchu an absolute must for anyone traveling in Peru. Number 15. Traditional Peruvian foods might leave the visitor a little puzzled. While most people think of the guinea pig as a pet, it's a delicacy in Peru. The guinea pig is called cuy in Peru. On special occasions, roasted cuy is part of the menu. The dish is presented in its complete form, with the head and feet still attached. As for beverages, Peru has its own national drink. Known as the Pisco Sour, it's made with grape brandy, sugar water, egg whites, and lemons. Finished with ice and bitters, the Pisco Sour is delicious, but certainly packs a powerful punch. Well, Alexers, that's a wrap on Peru. Now we're curious, would you be partaking in some cuy when you visited Peru? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, for sticking with us all the way to the end, here's your bonus. Number 16. A Peruvian poncho is meant to last a lifetime. The poncho is part of the traditional dress of Peru. Spun, woven, and dyed by hand, a poncho can take between 500 and 600 hours to make. In Peru, one receives a new poncho upon reaching adulthood. What's more, the poncho is expected to last a lifetime due to the quality of materials used and the production process. 
Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.